Easy here. I'm going to be tying up a flight for you today that I've been getting a lot of questions on. It's the Easy Betis. It's a Betis pattern that I fish a lot in the San Juan River area, northern New Mexico. Typically tie this in size 18 all the way down to 26. In the vise today, we have a size 20 for you that I'll be tying today. It's a Daiichi 1110. Great little hook. I like the straight eye of it. I'll be using uh, some Simperfly Nano Silk, 30 denier, brick beige. My favorite color to tie in. I, uh, it's a great betas color. Let's go ahead and start here behind the eye using touching wraps, keeping it nice and flat. It's a great little pattern here. You can tie it in a range of colors. I typically tie it in this brick beige, but I also fish a green, lime, purple you've seen. Um, there's a copper color. Some great some great colors that uh, Simperfly has that you can experiment with. This is ice thread. It's a monofilament, and I use it as a ribbing. I've used this for product for some time now. Um, kind of an old school thing to use mono for ribbing, but I feel that it's really durable. I know that I have fished it for years. I really like using it. I really like the segmentation it gives. I'm going to tie that all the way to the back. Then we're going to put in our tailing material. This is paintbrush fibers. I typically use three darker fibers, laying them here on top of the hook shank. I will then pull them to length. Not too long. And just tying them down on top of the hook. Touching wraps again, going toward the front. Keeping them on top of the uh, hook. Go ahead and clean off our waist. Give our thread a counterclockwise spin. Flatten it out. And then we'll clean this up just a bit going back. Creating a nice small taper. It's a very small pattern. Something very nice about this nano silk is that you can keep these patterns really sparse and thin, which is what I like these betas to be. I'm gonna whip finish here at the head end. On small patterns, I like to put a few whips in to make sure that you don't lose your work. We're gonna segment this fly with this mono in some open wraps. Typically, I like to start a little smaller in the in the rear and then widen out as I go toward the head end. Typically, we'll put in around seven or so ribs on a size 20 fly before I latch it down here in the front. You've seen me post this fly or fish this fly and bring variety of colors. It's real simple. Great pattern to fill up your box with. We're going to use some Deer Creek UV resin to go ahead and uh, keep everything in place here. I'm just going to put a little dab on top. Kind of let it sink into the thread a little bit into these mono ribs as well. Kind of move that around. I like to then pull some off with my fingers here. Make sure I wipe that off. Just to give some nice clear segmentation to this fly. Hit it with my UV light. Makes a real durable pattern. Um, catches lots of fish and keeps on going. Which is kind of what I like. Going to go ahead and wrap back a few wraps here before we use our uh, Cashmere Monkey Hair. This is a product from Semperfly been tying with it recently. This is in the root beer color. 
I have 12 fibers here. You can also use fluorofiber or Antron. Anything that you want to supplement for it. Tie it in here and pull it back. Lost one there. I've been experimenting with this product a little bit. It's really it's a really good product. Comes in a variety of colors as well. I like to keep things very clean. And these flies using touching wraps. I'm gonna add a little bit of flash on this Easy Bay. This any flash of your choice. I'm choosing to use this uh, flash that I've I've had for a while. I'm just gonna tie it in on the close side to me here. And this is more of a hot spot. I'll add a few wraps here toward the back of the thorax. Just to add enough flash to grab some attention for some picky fish. Clean this up. Give my thread a counter spin. Very simple pattern to tie, not a lot of parts. Pull this fiber over. I have 12 fibers here, so I can separate them into six on each side, which is kind of nice. Keep your patterns uh, looking all the same. I'm gonna tie in six to close side, six on your side, then we're gonna whip finish. Simple, effective. Hard hitting pattern, tie some up, put them in your box and give them a try. I'm gonna use a Sharpie here, just on the very top of this fly, just on the head end. I like to have a two-tone finish to these flies. You can see it's dark on top, light on bottom. Separate these fibers. I'm gonna grab this UV resin again. Just gonna put a dab on my needle my uh, bodkin here add it on to the very top of the wing case hit it with our light and let that cure very sparse pattern very thin pattern the way i like to tie my flies nice to keep them thin and clean Cut these off. And we have the easy betas. It's a great fun pattern. Go fish it. See what you think. Range of colors. Two-tone. Very easy. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.